Hey, Allie, it's Colin. Hey, Colin, what's up? Hey, nothing much. How about you? How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Um, I just wanted to see if you wanted to come talk to me for my project and you know, share your story with me. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to meet in U Yard? Yeah, by Uptowner? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Let's do the, the circular tables outside of Uptowner. Okay, sounds perfect. Cool. Uh, how about like 10 minutes? All right, cool. I'll see you then. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hey, Allie. Hey, Colin. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for uh, agreeing to talk to us about this. Yeah, of course. How you been? How's your uh, semester going? It's been going well. Yeah. Sad yeah. it's almost over. I know, freshman year almost in the books, huh? I know, it's crazy. Yeah. It went by fast. I know, sometimes I wish I could go back. So. It's been good. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, agreeing to share your story with us. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't know a whole lot about it. Do you want to give us a little introduction to, to what happened? Um, sure. So, I newly became Catholic this year. I was born and raised Lutheran. Okay. And so, I went to a Catholic elementary school, so that's when I, like, really was introduced to the Catholic faith. Yeah. And from, like, there on out, I was like, I'm going to be Catholic. So, when I came to GW, I joined RCIA. Okay. And so then, right before the Easter Vigil, when I was supposed to be confirmed and accepted into full communion, I had to do my first confession. Your first confession? Yeah. So that's where you, you have to confess like your whole life? Yeah, right, because I hadn't done it before. Right, so. right, okay. Yeah, wow. so I was sitting outside of Epiphany on the front steps, like planning out everything that I was going to say, because yeah, I was yeah. pretty nervous. And then I went and sat down in the pew and was just like waiting for Father to come. So, yeah. yeah. And then, and then someone you knew from somewhere else showed yeah, up at church? Yeah, so I was sitting in a pew and one of my sorority sisters came okay, and cool. sat next to me, who I didn't know was there. She was like, hey Allie, what are you doing here? And I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm doing my first confession, I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we kind of like talked about it. She had, she told me, oh yeah, confession's kind of scary. Right. I, hadn't been to, in t I hadn't been to confession in eight years. Wow. And I was like, oh man, like, she hasn't <laughs> gone back in eight years. This must be like pretty intimidating. Yeah. And, but then I remembered when I was at the Newman Center, a lot of the kids there um, were like really excited about confession all the time. And I was like so curious as to why. Because when I was in elementary school, everyone was terrified to go into confession. Yeah. And so I like told Jessie, that was my sorority sister, I told her, I was like, oh, all the kids at the Newman Center love confession though. They say it's like so nice to go in there when the priest puts their, his hand over their head at the end and says, I absolve you of all your sins. Yeah. They just feel like this wave of mercy rush on them. And I was like, so it's obviously a good thing. So yeah. it made me more excited to go in there. That's awesome. And then like 10 seconds after that, she was like, is anyone in line after you? And I was like, eight years and like you, you want to go after me right, and she's right, like yeah right. and so after I got out of my confession Jesse followed so oh that's awesome yeah it was that's really, cool. really cool so you were able to sort of lead your friend into that experience of mercy yeah I was like trying to comfort myself yeah. by reminding me of that and I'm glad it brought comfort to her as well so. that's really cool yeah wow well Allie thanks so much for yeah. sharing that story with us of you course know, I think a lot of people can relate to it yeah um I actually have to go back to the Newman Center and uh, meet with Father Adam. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. say hi. I will. I'll tell him you said hi. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, have a nice day, Colin. All right, you too. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. Hey. 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 Great timing. Wow. Welcome. See you later, Julie. See All right, thanks, Julie. So things good? Yeah, everything's great. Yep. Yeah, so you met with Allie. Yeah, today I met with Allie, and okay. she uh, was telling me about how just this past Holy Week on Holy Thursday, um, she was getting ready to enter the church through RCIA, mm -hmm. and she had to do her first confession. Um, mm -hmm. So she was waiting on the steps of the church, you know, just thinking about her confession. 
and she happened to run into uh, her sorority sister, her friend, mm. um, and you know, her friend was asking her about confession. Like she had heard that it's kind of scary. She hadn't actually been to confession in eight years. Oh, wow. um, and Allie was able to just really reassure her of the benefits and the grace that can come through it and how it can be a really positive experience. Yeah. And so after Allie went in, her friend went in for her confession for the first time. Oh, and, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It just shows just how important it is for us to share our experiences, especially mm. those graces that we get from God because we never know how it might affect another person. I mean, it's exactly Andrew, right? One of the apostles, right? At, at the very beginning, right? When he first met Jesus, right? Mm. The next thing he did was to go tell his brother. Mm. And his brother was Simon Peter, mm. right? And so Andrew was the one that introduced Simon Peter to Jesus. Well, here's Peter. I mean, eventually he's going to become the head of the apostles, the first pope, right? But it all began with Andrew. Yeah. introducing Peter to Jesus. And so it just shows how important it is that we just have to always share that grace, you know, mm. share those experiences that we have with God. Mm. Yeah. And it, it reminds me too, like as college students living on campus, we have so many opportunities every day mm -hmm. to, to share our faith and to share our experience of Christ with, with others and to really bring that to them. No, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Well, awesome. Great. I'm glad Great. that went well. Yeah. Thanks, right. Father. Well, I'll see you next time. Yep. Absolutely. Thanks, Connor. Take care. God bless. You too. See you, Julie. So today we learned about Allie's story and how she was able to experience God's love and mercy through her first confession and through a random occurrence was able to share that experience with her friend, her sorority sister, who hadn't been in eight years. She was able to just talk about her own insecurities, about what they were about to do, but also her own faith and her own beliefs. And just talking about those things reassured her friend and brought her comfort. For those of you watching, I challenge you to think about times in your own life when you have the opportunity to do this. Whether it be with a friend, an acquaintance, or a random stranger, we always have chances to share and be witnesses to our own lives in order to make a difference in someone else's. Well, I hope you can join us next time for some more stories of Campus Mercy. Until then. Hey YouTube, thanks so much for watching. If you would, please give this video a like and feel free to give us a comment as well. And definitely make sure to click the subscribe button. Thanks so much and God bless. Subscribe button. I'm just Yeah. Don't say as always. The subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs>